think the CIRSD has done a fantastic job in bringing together really not just people, high profile individuals out of politics, but also some really interesting academic people, thinkers, people who reflect on geopolitical problems in a historical setting. And what has resulted has been an extremely rich conversation, which has brought to light a lot of the parallels and links between 1914 and 2014. I think it helps that we're in Belgrade, because in Belgrade, we're on, in one of those places where the aftershocks of 1914 are still reverberating. I mean, we're still in the world that was made by the disaster of 1914 to 18. So these questions can be addressed with more urgency. They have a kind of concreteness and weight that they wouldn't have elsewhere. And that, I think, has also you know, given the conversation a greater intensity than it might otherwise have had. So it's been a really um, enlightening and fascinating series of discussions. We had a wonderful panel yesterday morning about 1914, the meaning of 1914. Now, there's something paradoxical and strange about 1914. It's, it's now a hundred years ago and yet it seems fresher than ever. Why is that? It's because we're in a world which in many ways resembles the world of 1914 more than the era of the Cold War did. It's multipolar, it's unpredictable, it's opaque, it's characterized by low levels of trust and you know the, 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 the disaster of 1914 speaks to us more urgently than it perhaps has at any other time in our history ever since. So I think that you know, these questions are very much alive and conferences like this are very important for um, addressing the, uh, the, 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 the questions about what risks need to be avoided in the contemporary setting. As for the, the, the question of the outbreak of the First World War, which is still a hot question and a sensitive one in this part of the world, my, my message there is it was complicated. Um, Europe was a dangerous place occupied by or populated by great powers which were all behaving in a more or less similar way, rather ruthless, all of them pursuing their own interests, all of them quite happy to take on the risk of a great war in pursuit of their own objectives. And what we need to do is to move away from the idea that war is a suitable or rational uh, way of resolving human conflict and come instead to an, to an acceptance of the view, it recently articulated it by Pope Franciscus, that war is the greatest, the greatest failure of humankind. Thank you very much.